Right, you come into my house and I'll show you the title deeds with my name. Now get to yes. my house. Yes. Yes. Why? Why is Charles Green not coming out and just showing us that bit of paper with his name on it? He owns Glasgow Rangers. He owns Murray Park and he is the future for your club because he's no. Let me finish. Where do we go for you now? We go anywhere, for where do, we go? Where do we go? We keep staying here. Yeah. Because I've been asked by different factions, and I've got emails and phone calls all day long, and the support's been brilliant. There's always addicts that are going to throw the knife at us. But what I'll say to you, people ask me, press have been asking me, who's your investors? Who's this? Who's that? Because see, when you tell them, they scrutinise it, you go through it. I'm telling you, the guys that I was in with, right, in my grandson's life, do for us. my grandson's life, they are out of the picture. Because investors, are you? Yes. Yes. Because you buy your season books, you buy your jerseys, you buy the pies, the programs. That's the investors, the Rangers team, the fans. They run fucking Rangers. Yes. So everybody's saying, where do we go from here? We don't go anywhere until we find out who's on the title deeds of this stadium and Murray Park. Once we've got that, we will buy them out. You yes. will buy them out. Yes. Yes. Oh, 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 every one of you, every one of you that buy your season book will be owners of your first. And this is your club. Nobody, no individual. Doesn't no matter. The Blue Knights, we ask them to come and board. The consortium, we ask them to come and board. And if they're true Rangers fans, we'll all get together and we will force this lot out. Yeah. Because at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Charles Green, right now, as come here right now. My bid to Charles Green, right now. There's your pound back. Yeah. And then show us the title deeds. Find out the debris that's went through this club. Who's been who's been taken out of the back door? Because I guarantee you, everybody that puts their tickets, season tickets, through this company, through that door. It's going out the back door and it's heading out. You're never going to see it. It's looking fucking in there. Right, but you've done it last season. You've seen a guy coming down there. We all believe this is the difference. We invested in him and we're still hunting. But where's the money? So stick together. And anybody that criticises you, the Holy Scotland, is bringing us down. Fuck them all! <laughs> what I will say, this is the Sheffield United. <laughs> this stadium's world renowned. The history that we've got at this club, they can't, they can't take this away. We will come back in some form and we 
the army to support us worldwide if we invest and put our money aside and hold on to it to be on the account and you can stick it in and I'll guarantee every one of you you'll get your money back whatever division, whatever we do you'll get your money your debentures that were sold down the river I've got two, they're down but what we're going to do we're going to give you them back every one of you will get your debentures How do we get them out? We starve them out. Yep. Yeah. 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 When the money runs dry, as long as you feed the animal up, stay. I would say, feed them out, by the way. Can you believe I'm saying that? The team that I love, but see the people that have robbed us for years. Finding out down this line. You read Loudrop, you let, read Amaruso, you'll be reading Goff in the morning, you'll be reading a number of people coming out in support. There's ones that are supporting this, but they're staying out at the new because they've been let down with others. But when we get control, every one of them's going to be in board. We will get control. But what I will say is, you've got to starve them out. You buy nothing. How much time? When's it? When's this? When's that? It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is we've got a guy that's no willing to show you, the fans that have put him in this position, who's taken every day that he's in there. You don't think he's taking anything out of this? Everything's gone down, right? But what, how long we got? Well, he put us in administration again, and you come to Bomber. Is that what he's trying to do and rent the park back for us? Think he's no choice in this, because if you don't put bums in seats, he's got nothing. He's got nothing. I've got to say to you, stay calm. Everybody's going to be in the place, and you'll get a twat, you'll get a Facebook message from somebody that you don't know that's saying that a Rangers fan. Just to get you going to ask questions, I can guarantee there's a substantial amount of money that I can't announce because as soon as I do, they're going to say, right, that's what we want to go. We're not going to mention it. When the police going to make arrests? All I'll say to you is, what is, Scottish, what is Scottish football going to do without Glasgow Rangers? <laughs> Why not hear say that? All these teams that are voted against us are Good! We have actually had mayor for you in five minutes and months and months and hey, by the way, we appreciate this because we can fuck off. That's the way. I was asked by the press to name, to name who's your backers, who's these guys. And I'm telling them nothing because I will, I'll tell them about this man at the front here that he is your backer because you know what? He's wearing that Rangers crest. Right? right, but what the press will do, and it'll no surprise me that they'll delve into it. Listen, I've done things I'm not proud of. Eh? And they'll delve in and they'll pick away for the positive he's saving this club. Where is all the press? Where is all the questions to Charles Green today? Eight, eight players left this club. Why? And Charles Green's answered that where the question is show us that you're the owner. Is that what it was? And these players, these players who have bled and won trophies through a time of hardship for this club. These players have been let down by who allowed this takeover. 
Murray, David Murray, doing a deal in whatever form it creates weight, whether it was Lloyd's Bank, whether a ticket as he's got, a personal guarantee of 18 million. If it stands, did they sign the deal to Charles Green coming in? When did he come in? Is that forced on you? Who knows? The simple way to resolve that is show us the title deeds. That's the only question you need to ask. Show us the title deeds. And if you're the owner of this club, we're going to buy you out. You're going down to Yorkshire as soon as we get you out. say to you is, stick with it, people are going to say, I got a text today, if we don't register by Friday, we lose my registration. Well, you just go back to Charles Green and say, why have you not registered with the league? We don't want to run the risk, you know, getting our licence. Apparently, you can check it, I've been told, they need to register by Friday. So, you see you've got a plan, the plan is, and I know his plan. But I'm giving them a chance to come to the table. Get me and Donald Fidley with your lawyers. Yeah. Yeah. Sit round the table and produce every document because I don't know that part of you. But I brought Donald to the table and he's bringing up lawyers and accountants to check everything. Yes. And he's doing it for the love Glasgow Rangers. And that's a guy who in time we need needed support to the Rangers. We showed him down the river. Fucking John Gregor off the river. Keep it running. Legend. Everybody knows. But all I'll say to you is. Hold that. All I'll say to you is, the people that are going to run Rangers Football Club and own Rangers Football Club is every individual standing here. If you buy a ticket, buy your season book, you will be an owner of this football club. And when it comes to the right time, I will explain the way forward for this football club. But this is the time. This is the time for you all to stick together and get that name and show it and do it through the top QC in Scotland, the top lawyers, accountants that we know. If you know the owner, show us the owner. Come out of your cave. If it's Craig White, come out of your cave. Where's ticket? If it's ticket, how much do we owe you? We're going to give you a pound. We'll have a look at the books, we'll see what it is, but you're not going to rip us off again. That is a deal, but you need to stick with that. Yeah. I want to get any further, young lassie, a uh, young boy. <laughs> 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 in there, there's legal procedures going on now with the police involvement and there's going to be serious consequences for people that have done this to this club, but I can't go into too much detail. The only detail and your turn out tonight is magic and if there is any further rallies, I'll be at it to answer any questions.
Listen, the only person that can buy this stadium now is you guys. Every one of you be buying your season books, but we will open an account for getting registered, security checks, because that's what's going to happen over the next couple of weeks. You'll be able to put your money in and invest in your club. The future will be good. It's going to take us a few years. But all these players, where they're going to stick us down to is to the vision that the budget for these other teams, whether it's the first, the budget for the teams there, your Falkirks and other teams, might only be half a million. We might have a budget to a million to win that league because we'll pick the right players. If it's a dirt and the budget's 150 grand, then we pick 250. We're not spending 16 million a year. That's the reality of it. But what we do is we go up each season, whatever happens, and your money is invested. And I can tell you, once we find out what's happened to this club and who's got the title deeds and take control of it, the money will be going in a pot and it'll increase. And when I explain to you, with all the tax VAT implications, this club's going to strength to strength. But that is only if you buy into an idea that this club, if we set it up in a certain way, nobody can ever, nobody can ever sell, sell it. You'll have ring fence, Murray Park and Ibrox. Nobody ever can ever sell it or move it on with shares or anything because that's the next bit of the plan. All we need to know, all we need to know the now, and just get it in your head, and get into the press, and show us the title deeds. Who's the name on the stadium in Murray Park, that is owner, who's the major creditor, that we need to sit down, do a deal, to get these out, and take our your club. That's all the job. Just ask what we did with the season book is it going into our county? Basically, what happens at a football club? All your money comes in, it goes in a pot, it covers wages to the team, it covers expenditure and money back, eyebrows, all the staffing. That's where your money goes to pay for the players that will win you championships, to pay for the catering, well, the catering's gone. David Murray sold it to Azure, so... Yeah. What I'm saying, John, basically everything they used to pay in pays all the bills. They cover Ibrox, cover Murray Park, cover all the wages. That's where your money goes. What we are saying, what we are saying is once this account's set up, put it in there, starve them out. Who's it going to set up? But what happens? Could that sit in there for a year? John, do you think we'll be playing football next year? That's what I'm trying to say. John, John Brown, do, do, do you think personally we will be going to be playing football next year? We will play football next year. Fucking Glasgow Green. Right? If we've not got this. <laughs> hey, we can play in a public park. Aye. Yes! He's a shyster. They can't he's, he's a fucking fraud. He's a con man. He's been there for years. Because there's no money there. They're not going to pay the maintenance, the electricity, the gas. The rates is nearly a million pounds. There's no money for them to pay it. So they've got to sooner or later come to the table and do a deal with us. That's the story. Get the title deed name. That's the story. Are we going to try to get money for David Murray? His assets drift to the club. Basically, right, 
I'll apologise about saying again about David Murray, but we've got to concentrate on who's got the title deed, that owns Rangers, that has got you all out here tonight, concerned about what's going to happen to the future of your football club, because you what? five days a week, six days a week, you, you get home, you talk about your football, it's your life. Why is he not coming to the table and sitting down because he's got something to hide? He's not the owner of this club. That's what he's telling you right now. The reason he's not here, because when you look in his eyes, he looks at the ceiling, he looks at the floor, you know a con man. What did they tell you on Friday? Listen, if we get the club back and I can sit down with Charles Green and say to her what you told me that Friday afternoon, give us my club back, walk out, your name's intact, but see if you don't in the next few days, if you try to do anything to this club, I will come out and reveal what you said to me. And then it's your call. You believe Charles Green, and you believe me. You believe me. All I've got to say, I drove down the road and I seen the crowds, and it tells you what this club's all about. If anything goes away, that we've no got football next year. I don't know what's going to happen. If we are able to get our club back and the sanctions in place, can I tell you, we've got 140 years history. Correct. And this club will see for a year till we get our license if it does go down that way. We will celebrate 140 years by bringing back and celebrating a great success, the 72 Cup Winners Cup winners be putting on a game where they have a dinner for 40 years and they don't get to celebrate it. We will put on games, 15th year, a nine in a row. This year, this year, we're looking at, through that period, 15 years of Marseille corruption, costing us a Champions League yes, final. Yes. Remember back, Chappie get jailed through the French courts, George, European George. stuff. But all I'm saying to you is, what he done back then is what they're doing right now. Right, they're doing it to the Rangers family. That's this, what you are doing here tonight. And the investors, what everybody says, name your investor. I will, I will happily name my investors. All the press want to go in, delve in find out their history. I'm telling, I've got enough money that I can name them, but I'm not going to because I know what the press will do and I can guarantee you, every one of you, the investors that were going up, the ante, outed this and we needed them because of passed on information to me that will hang this law. Right? But I will say I'll be to going ask, to me sell my kidney. John. What I will say to you is you're going to get it. You're going to say he's on top. Show us. The only investors you really need to matter is yous. You put in your money or holding on to it or put it into a fund that we will have many millions on top of what will be added. With your money that we will protect will be secure funds that when we get a chance to go and see the damage that's been created, we will be able to deal through your funds to get them out and then you all become owners. There is no individual going to be coming in with a 75% share, doesn't happen. Everybody that puts into the club, whether it's £10, whether it's £10 million, he's a log at one vote and it's in your hands whether you want to go down that route. But it's in your hands. The future of your club is going to use 
stick together because everybody's thrown negatives. Stick together, we're going to get our club back. If Charles Green is honourable and honest, he would be here standing beside me and arguing his point. He'd be arguing his point and coming out and saying, he might be an ex player, he might have done that, he respect that. Well, here it is, black and white. I'll stand here with Charles Green and say to him, show us the document, show our legal team that you are the owner because that's all that matters to do. Forget everything else, whether we're in the league, because we've not got our stadium, we've not got money Park, and without the stadium, you've not got a football team. So, name your price, but show us. And show us all the hidden stuff that wears off the money owed, wears all the hidden letters, the deals with the broker that we still need to address. Because if it is a deal, let the Consortium on Monday, I think, or last week, that Jim McCall and Doogie Park, who are fantastic Rangers supporters, and we want them on board. But if it's a deal that they're saying £6 million, do you think they're just going to hand £6 million over? No, but that £6 million is to see the title deeds. That's why they pulled out, because they're not showing you. That's the truth. And that's why they're running. I can't. Basically, I've told you something oh, for the moment. Well done, Bomber! Yeah. Well done, Bomber. Yeah. Thank you. So I want you to scrutinise the press because I know they'll be scrutinising me be saying that. Let them go on with it. The only concern that we have, get the press to scrutinise title deed name, show it Charles Green. And if it is you, then we'll deal with you. But one thing's for certain, the Rangers fans want to buy you out. We're not going to bed with you. We're going to take control of your football club. That is the only story that you need at this moment in time. And the rest will follow on. What's the end of Palmer? yourselves going home with the roads and that and, and be careful but hey, listen guys listen the one thing that we've got is we've got our dignity Proudest day of my life, 